right. First voyage of the season. Okay. Late start. Extremely cold weather. Earlier in the summer. Goddamn icebergs floating around out here up until about a week ago. But um, we're ripped and ready. Anyway, we got a good crew. We got Brad. Brad? Let's go, get yeah, some gold. <laughs> he came aboard last summer, got in a little bit of the season with us and was with us last winter. And then we got Gary. He's been around here three or four seasons. And uh, what's his nickname? Uh, this is a gold gorilla. Actually, this is my sixth, Bernard. <laughs> oh, six? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Three or I four, mean, what are you doing? I say, keep on like this, and next thing you know, we're going to be friends or something. Exactly, you know? yeah. <laughs> so, and then we got Brian. Uh, he came back to board. He, just Yo. Flew, he flew in last night. And so, uh, then we got Kevin. He's down below. And then we also have um, uh, Tony. We call him Curly. Curly's with us also today. He's just not coming up on an orientation trip. But uh, yeah, this is our maiden voyage for the season. We got a new nitrox machine, a nitrox generator. It'll take most of the nitrogen out of the air that the divers breathe so their bodies won't absorb so much nitrogen. And that means they can stay down longer and go deeper and put more gold in the box. So um, everybody's pretty excited about that. So, uh, yeah, that's about all I got. We got a couple cool. more miles and we'll be out there and drop the hook. I got a new anchor, 110 pound anchor. Nice, yeah. And then uh, I, that, I got that new anchor winch last year and it worked really well. Awesome. And that one worked. We got a new, uh, one there. Uh, a, a, a new captain back out for handling the stern anchor and that's going to make life a lot easier. And then let's see, we got that new sluice box that Keen built for me. Boys down in uh, Southern California. Where am I going here? I wonder what that ship was doing out there. The reason is because <laughs> I'm going in the wrong goddamn direction. Well, I don't know. We're still probably going to go straight. It's over there somewhere. We're way we'll out. Yeah, I know that. 80 feet our first time. Yeah. So we're 40. <laughs> let's yeah. go 80. Yeah. Let's more go. gold than 80 feet. <laughs> sure, nobody's ever been out there. <laughs> Right now, everybody is gold hungry. Yeah. Let me tell you, gold hungry. Not too many people out this early. There's no. only a couple guys, couple. Yeah, I only see one. Only one other dredge out, out too. Another one's going out right now. They're all they're all on the summer rush, huh? Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. I mean, not many dredges up here this year. Um, fewer than usual, I'd say. Yeah. But that's okay, we're here, that just leaves more for us. <laughs> Take it away. Anchors away, you're getting a little nervous? A little nervous, yeah. Well, I'll tell you that right before I get ready to dive. Yep. Right now, I'm excited, but I'm getting nervous because uh, 40 feet, man, 44 feet quite a ways down there, you know what I mean? And if I wasn't nervous, I'd be dumb as a rock because uh, being nervous is what keeps you alive, you know what I mean? Yeah. Keeps, keeps you on your toes. If you're not nervous, then there's something wrong with you, especially with doing what we're doing. After this, we got to go down and get all the anchors and then uh, drop a camera and see what it looks like on the bottom. And then, uh, man, we're ready to go. We're cool. ready to rock and roll. No. How's it look, Gary? Looks good. Looks good. Um, we got a cobble, bigger cobble underneath this this finer. You can see some of them sticking out, but uh, it looks looks really good. I mean, it looks like what we was in last time we were out here. Good vis. Great visibility. Cool. Yeah, that's amazing how good the visibility is. <laughs> nice. I mean, it is clear. Look at that. Yeah. I mean, I've never seen it that clear. Awesome. Sweet. So uh, yeah. Good diving. Yeah. Riding the hose there, cowboy, huh? Hell yeah. Yeah. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! <laughs> hey, one more. So we've been putting on the pressure hoses is no easy task, huh? Not when you're out here. <laughs> no one would ever think putting on pressure hoses would be 
so much work. Fish line's on. Next step is we're gonna get fired up. We're gonna fire up the nitrox system. This is our first time using it. So um, what is a nitrox system? A nitrox system, it uh, it uh, gives us 30, uh, 32% oxygen and uh, uh, pure oxygen that goes down 32%. So it uh, it keeps us from uh, getting uh, nitrogen. It, it pulls the nitrogen out and puts puts more oxygen into our into our blood system so you don't get the bends or so something? we don't get the bends yeah, yeah we don't it's uh you don't wind up in an iron longer <laughs> yeah yeah we don't yeah exactly and, and we're diving at 40 feet so it's it's going to actually uh by doing that it's going to give us more bottom time normally at 40 feet we got an hour and 45 minutes of of diving but with nitrox we can do uh three hours and 45 okay and uh without decompression stops so if we did a uh a, de uh, a dive at uh say 40 feet and we went over an hour and 45 minutes, then uh, our decompression stop coming up the hose would be like, you know, 20 minutes, half hour to 45 minutes. I mean, it gets really uh, ridiculous if you're down there three hours and 45 minutes. I see, I see. So this system here keeps us from having to do that. So normally when we're diving, like the rest of the people know them here, if you don't dive over 32 feet, then you don't need a system like this, right? No, you don't need a system at, at 32 feet. That's one atmosphere. Uh, anything above that's more than one atmosphere. Right. But at one atmosphere, you don't need a system like this. Uh, so you can you can pretty much stay down as long as long as you want, and there's no uh, okay no stop on the way. So up. if you're over 32 feet, that's when it gets complicated with dive tables with uh, too much nitrogen in your system yeah. and stopping halfway up the hose and waiting 10 minutes and uh, you know getting the bands and. And if there's emergency, if you rush up, you know, that could be trouble too. But yeah, exactly. With this system here, it keeps you uh, your the right nitrogen levels in your blood and right oxygen levels exactly. in your blood. Exactly. It's a okay. lot safer. Like uh, a few years back, I uh, was diving at 50 and I was down for almost two hours and I uh, my, lost all my air pressure and I had to shoot to the top and I got uh, the bins and uh, it, it, pretty, it messed me up pretty good for a long time. So this system, we don't have to worry about it when we're 40, 45, 50 feet. And uh, that's where most of the gold is out in Nome. Right, right. I know not very many people know that because nobody's <laughs> actually dove this deep except for us. I know. You see <laughs> so, the couple dredges out here. There's Emily Rydell. She's out and two or three other little yeah. dredges, but they're cl way closer inland. And we're the only nuts out here. We're um, we're in the 50 foot zone. Yeah, 40, we're in the feet. yeah we're we're in the death zone. So all these guys are looking at us like we're nuts. What are we yeah. doing at 50 feet? But they don't know we have this. Is it, is, yeah. it a, is it a secret so far? No one in town it's, knows we got. Well, they they <laughs> they know. There's a few people that know we oh, have okay. it, and they they say we're the guinea pigs. But I don't look at it like that. I, uh, you know, uh, we just ain't gonna tell them about all the gold we're getting. So they'll yeah. never know. <laughs> you a little nervous? This is the first time you're gonna try nitrox. Hell yeah! Of course I'm a little nervous. <laughs> uh, but. Uh, I think it's gonna be fine. You know, I've dove 40 feet before without nitrox, so the only thing I think is gonna, if anything happens, if bad happens, it's we got a, a wrong nitrox reading. But I think we got this system all figured out. And, uh, I mean, I feel I feel safe, but I'm also a little apprehensive. So keep me on my toes. You know what I mean? Hell yeah. If, like I say before, if I eat scared, then then I'm a dumb. <laughs> I shouldn't be even doing this. Not at these depths. So yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm feeling good. It's gonna be a good one. Yeah, if you're down there, feel dizzy or something, you know, come oh, back yeah, up. <laughs> for sure. I start seeing little mermaids yeah. or stuff to float. <laughs> if I see a mermaid swim by me, don't chase her. <laughs> Knowing me, I'll just start kick off. I'll be chasing her. I see a mermaid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wow, is this what I got to work with? <laughs> there we go. And he's down. There we go. <laughs> You want the nozzle? You want me to unleash it? No, I'm not on the nozzle yet. Okay. Taking her nice and slow. Yeah, go nice and slow.
Roger. Yeah, everything's good. More umbilical. More umbilical. Oh, it's gone. It's just, it's just gone. 35. Okay, he's at 35. Hey, my light. Turn on my headlight. All right, we're at the bottom. 38. Okay, sweet. 38. How's everything? Good air? Good hot water? <laughs> Sweet! Box is going for the first time, huh? Whoa, let's go. First time this year. Nice, yeah. nice. Gary just went down a couple minutes ago. Got the box fired up. He's got hot water, he's got air. Just yeah. need some gold. Nice camera Yeah, just an idle right now, I believe. Okay, good. He just started it up, so I think he's giving it a second here. Well, I already see two pieces of gold. Oh, yeah. right. Woo! There we go. <laughs> Keep going. Ah, shit. Camera That's off. great. That's hot. Somebody have to tell me when he wants me to idle up. Okay. Are you ready to idle up? He wants a big boulder here, dude. Yeah. Problem? Yeah. Okay, Roger, here comes the horsepower. Hey, this thing keeps turning off. I mean, we just fucking started, boys. I don't know. Damn, you already seeing the gold? I'm already seeing gold, yeah. <laughs> Brandon, he's already seeing gold. Just started. Praise the Lord. That's the ammunition. And when you go down, probably I send you down with a pan. Yeah. Call the tail and call it real quick, and we can determine. Yeah, it looks like that. Yeah, we can do that. Let's get back to the suction in. Very much in the highest suction is. Oh, that's good. Uh, I've probably seen already about 30 little pieces go up. How's the power on the phone? It's pulling. That motherfucker's pulling hard. Fuck. We're already ending, dude, with this our first spot. Hey, point some, point some gold out to us. What's that? Point out some gold. See it all right there? There's like 30 little pieces right there. See it? Woohoo! I mean, this is the first fucking spot we dropped on. You talk about language now. I mean, it's not a shit ton, but what it's gonna, what it's showing us is there's gold around here. Boy, this fucking nitrox is cool as shit. I can, I feel pretty good. It's <laughs> getting high down there. Oh, first problem. Got a little, little hole. Little hole already. We'll get Kevin to the rescue. Oh, she get too hot? Yes. Oh, she got too hot? Turn off, huh? Burn wants you to go in there and turn on his other water. Turn on I don't know, the hot water? The pump. Turn on that other water. The water pump. The pump, the pump, the pump. 
taking a vacuum, the vacuum's taking the water out of the suction line to prime it. There he goes. He's good. <laughs> the fountain of youth right there. We will pay money for you. <laughs> What's up? You just hit a hot spot? Fuck, I don't know. No, dude, I'm seeing it all around my home right now. Figures he'll uh, get on the gold as soon as uh, the fucking radiator goes down here. Fuck! Dude, when you start seeing it in the overburden like this... <laughs> Holy fuck! Well that's cool, uh, yeah right now we're at an idle. Uh, they're trying to add some antifreeze in so... Yeah, I wouldn't suck up any big rock. Bro, I'm not saying shit because you say I know better. This fucking shit, man, is just pouring out of the overburden. This is pissing me out. Fuck, dude! Oh, that's crazy. I don't know if this is just a hot spot. All right, I'll mark this one on the GPS if you, uh, if you think it's that good. I don't want to take a chance. I'm just going to give it a two-hour run. Take it easy two hours and see how you feel when you come up. Okay, man. What's your limit? It's like two hours to die? Because of the nitrous? 
Yeah, it's right around two hours, and you don't have to do a decompression or anything right now. Oh, okay. So. Yeah, yeah. No, that's not right. Or was it 200 minutes? Is that what it was? 200 minutes. Okay, so I guess it's 30 hours and 20 minutes. We decided we're just going to do two to start off with. Just oh, okay. Just make sure the machine's running good. And that's based on a depth of 50 feet. Oh, okay. 40, but we're, it's strenuous, so we're adding another 10 feet to it, we think. So at 50 feet with nitrox 32, we've got 200 minutes. 200 minutes? 200. Okay. As far as decompression, we might do a decompression shop just for the hell of it to be super on the safe side, but at two hours, I don't think you even have to do a decompression shop. Yeah. But if we stay down for, for uh, three hours or three hours and 20 minutes, it might well to do a, like a seven or ten minute decent stuff. Okay, cool. Gary's coming up, yeah, he's wrapped around the flare though. How the fuck did that happen? Couldn't even go straight down, he went over. Oh, he went over the hose. So let's go straight down, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sucking a lot of air. That's good. Fuck her. You all right, man? Fuck. Yeah, he's he's wrapped up uh, on the flare. He's all right, he just wrapped himself around. Oh yeah, that's a bird's nest. Damn. Oh yeah, he's tangled. Come up there by the where the blue hose fits into the jet. It's jammed right in the uh, in the crotch there. On the other side. My weights are falling off. Yeah. So bad. Hey! Average depth is 38 feet. You've been seeing the gold? Yeah. Hold on, let me wipe my nose off. Hey, right, you got boogers all over you. Dude, how'd it go? You Hold on. Freaking see it, it should let it go. <laughs> oh, dude, salt water. Oh, fuckers. Look at all the fuckers. Come on, man. <laughs> Gary's got fuckers. Fuck. Oh, my water's gone. Oh, your water's gone. He just threw his dump valve. I don't know, man, but I'm seeing a lot down there. Yeah, you see it? I need a pen also. Alright. I'll get a pen. So how's he dive? What's that? How does he dive? Felt good, man. <laughs> I seen a lot of gold down there. I mean I was seeing gold everywhere. Yeah. I'm not seeing any in the map. I don't understand that. But try oh, with the nozzle that dude, you'll you'll just be going and you'll see little puddles up there everywhere. Like you'll see. Which way were you going? It looked like your bubbles were at the end of the box. Yeah. You were heading that way yeah. or did you see the tailings when you were down there? I think I'm right there? over there. Yeah, yeah you're right at the yeah, end I'm there. like heading that way. Do you still have a lot of hose? Does it Quite a bit, to, yeah. Does it get to the end? No. Okay. I might swing it back around this way. Just punch around down there and you'll see gold that's better in certain areas. Alright. Yeah. I'll try and scour the whole area real quick. Cool. Excited? You go next? Yeah, hey, super I excited. Hey, I only got about an hour of diving time. Hell. The hell, that was a good first dive. Nothing yeah. major went wrong. Just a little uh, water heater problem. Quite a bit of cold down there. Yeah, we knew there was going to be issues. Today, yeah, so first we, yeah, time we out. Yeah, it's not too bad. We still got an hour dive. We can all get a few production hours. So. Yep, yeah, yeah, we'll hit it hard. Still cold. Yeah, you a little nervous. New systems, but we got it. Yeah. yeah we'll hit it. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, vern has got a big smile on his face, so he's happy. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's like they're laying down. It's kind of like you guys were having a full on gold party in here. <laughs> <laughs> Gary was pumping us up. Getting ready for my dive. Yeah, he was yelling and screaming. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Seeing, he was yeah. seeing a lot of gold, he said, though. Yeah, he could go to entertainment place down there. Yeah. And he could lose to the screen. <laughs> oh, yeah. You want me to uh, pan that test mat? Yeah, there we go. There you go. There we go. Uh, we got water kicking around. All right, here we go. We're going to do our test mat. See uh, what Gary got for gold. So now, Gary, you can only go down two hours because uh, you're at 40 feet, right? So. Yeah, well, that was just a test. Well, I mean, no, he could go down more than that. He could go yeah. down with nice charts. He could go down for three, and, three hours and 20 minutes. But today is our first day of using nitrox, so we're gonna play it on the safe side. Just go down for two hour dives. Yeah. Oh, you I just saw one. Normal though? Normal, yeah. yeah. I got a little tired when I was fighting that fucking hose though. Yeah, we haven't done this in a while. Oh yeah. So yeah, we you got ought gold. to feel better than normal. You've been breathing that O2. You ought to feel like you right. just walked out of a front door. right there already. Oh, it shows something, man. Something. All right, here's Brad. All right, here's done. Oh, oh yeah. look at that. Oh, yeah. That's oh, a little yeah. test mat. Check that shit out. Gary was down for a couple of hours, but we had about an hour's worth of engine problems. So this is a test mat. On, we're we're going to call that one hour run. And that's, that's a pretty pretty good test for an hour. Yeah, yeah. That's really good for an hour. You'll get twice just, that much right now. Just on the test mat? You'll get three times that much. That's pretty a square foot. Put it down deep that's and test mat right there. Yeah? Yeah. For that amount of time? Yeah. yeah. That's probably about a half an hour. That's, um, and that chest mat yeah. catches yeah. the ratio so roughly runs about eight to one, something yeah. like that. We haven't really gotten it dialed into exactly what the ratio is, but I think it's gonna be about eight to one. So <laughs> in that hour's time he will have gotten the rest of the box will have eight times that much in it. And so it looks to me like we're pretty close to out hour, <clears throat> which is what right where we want to be. Actually, right where we want to be is two out an hour, but you know, why get greedy? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm way happy with that. That was a, kind of a short dive because uh, it was the first dive and we're getting right. uh, the bugs out. But. Well, this night track machine was not cheap, but it's going to pay for itself many times over because the divers will be able to stay down much, much longer. We came out here at the end of last summer, out here in the 40-foot uh, zone, on my claim. Hey, but we could only guys. stay down for a little short period of time because, well, you know, you, you got nitrous and narcosis and all that crap. Once you're over 30 feet deep, you got to go on the dive table. We don't like to do that. So, uh, in the last summer, we came out here and we spent a total of about 12 hours out here and we were getting really good gold diving in the blast, no visibility after that hurricane that came through. So there was no biz and based on that, I knew there was good gold out here and that's why I bought that nitrox machine because with nitrox, we can come out here and the divers can stay down three or four hours at a time. and. Uh, and, and not get uh, not the, without any danger. So uh, I think it's not pay for it. So oh, now yeah. we can work out here in the yeah. deep water. We're the only ones in Nome that will be able to work out here in the deeper water. When, <laughs> when I'm sitting here watching the screen, I'm I'm reading the night right myself. Is it wasted? This is a great cure for hangover. It's like 32 percent oxygen. They sell the stuff in bars over in Japan. You gotta pay a lot of money for it. Damn. I think when we're alongside the dock, when the weather's bad, and uh, everybody's out drinking and raising hell and putting in their money and hung over the next day, I'll hang a sign out there. Hangover cure. I'll charge them like $25 a crack to come in here and get a 20 minute hit of uh, our nitrox and send them on their merry way. Oh, at least. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool. You know, anything to, to make a buck. Hey, that's what miners do. Mine the miners, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's a big land. That's cool. Well, anyway, I like that test mat. Yeah, that's not bad at all. That's really good for the. Well, that was maybe a solid hour dive. And that's yeah. only a little tiny mat that's on the sluice box there. Would you uh, uh, take your gloves? 
Well, we're getting ready for the next diver. Yeah. There he is, yeah. next diver going down. Ready to go, let's do it. <laughs> Up a little bit. So uh, what are you doing? Taping up the gloves. Why do you tape up your gloves? So don't get any cold Bering Sea water. <laughs> Good idea. Yeah, it helps quite a bit. I learned that from the Golden Grill last yeah. year. So uh, I guess what I was doing <laughs> the three years prior, freezing my ass off here. We got it pretty good on this boat. Yeah. <laughs> the Toyota Tony, new suit, everything else. So it makes it actually pretty comfortable down there. Yeah, so what these guys do, they, uh, they tape up their boots. Because uh, this is a, called a hot suit. He puts the water in here and there's a eternal spider in here. So it goes up to his gloves and when he tapes them, all the water, hot water stays in there. It stays in his boots. So. Yeah. It's and I think uh, Gary was one of the first people that do it. Then I started seeing everyone started doing it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you go through a lot of duct tape, that's for sure. Yeah, hey, but <laughs> hey, keeps you warm. Out, yeah, if you can stay down there an extra hour longer, it's definitely worth it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty good system. Get too hot sometimes, so. <laughs> so. All right, I'll. Uh, you want to get your mask ready here? Oh, coordinated. There we go. Yeah. Time it over. There we go. Oh, we got water. Boom. Oh, we got a big log coming right at us. Oh, that's a big boy. Oh, damn. That's a 30 footer. Hey, that's a big one. Woo, damn, that was a, that was a bitch. We got it free though, there it goes. We had to battle that thing. We're like. 15 freaking minutes we battled that lock. Alright, well, back to dredging. What you got? You find a nugget? Yeah, there it is. This is gonna be two ounces right there, boys. <laughs> nice one. Going up. Alright, getting gold. Let's go. There you got gold! Two ounce nugget, he's setting up the nozzle, that's how good we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, maybe it wasn't two ounces, but it was a good one. A little picker right up the nozzle. If they get stuck in there, we'll try to find it. Alright, we got about uh, an hour left of diving. So kind of same old, same old, just dredging, dredging, dredging. There it is. Sucking up there. Yeah, so far, good day. Gary's uh, went down, got a lot of gold. Brad's down there right now. He's getting gold and looking like it's going to be a good dive. <laughs> Where the heck is he? Under the boat? No, he's on the hose. He's, he's right in here. Oh, oh yeah, there he is. Come on up. There he is. Come on up, you fucking gorilla. <laughs> Too tall, Jones. Oh. Still up those arms. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Now you don't can't the camera. Biatch. <laughs> oh, I turned his water off. Water off. Okay. Okay. There you go. Good dive. See a lot of gold. Yeah. Nice. There was quite a bit, but I think it was like in that pay layer down there. So it should be pretty good. I mean, it okay. could be really, really good. Nice, I mean, nice. We'll it's hard to kind of tell. But... Yeah, we'll check that test map. Sweet. <laughs> I wonder if there's any gold down here in this lower. How much is the net? How's the box looking, Gary? Box is looking really good, man. I'm seeing a lot of fine gold in here. 
Which I mean, is. it's right oh, now. There's, there's a chunk. There's a nice there. chunk. But right now, it's it's built up too deep. But if you, I know you're not gonna be able to see it with the camera, but I could see it's built up too much. But I could see gold all through here. Oh yeah. See it all? Yep. See all the fine gold it's in there? Fine. See it? Yep, yep, yep. It's everywhere. So yeah, this might be really good. Not bad, not bad. And in the test mat here, we got a little chunky. We'll take a look at it a little thicker in the test mat. Yeah. 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 It's uh, definitely nice, looking better than uh, nice right there. We got three Ooh. hours total, three and a half hours total on this box, and we're seeing gold already. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna yeah. be a good one. Get another 40, 50 hours on this sucker. <laughs> clean it out. All right. Well, here we go. This is a. Uh, test pan we got a little bit of gold in there that was from Gary's little test and uh, here's the other test right here yeah. that good huh good job yeah I think that's pretty good <laughs> nice look at all that sweet yeah you guys got fucking good gold look at all that yeah that's just a, that's a little, that's just a, that's one, a by one spot right there yeah a little tiny test good. pan Mm -hmm. A little test mat, like what one foot by. Yeah, and I think most of those gold just gets blown up. We're running that yeah. thing pretty hard. Oh like yeah, most yeah. It's getting blown by there. Oh like yeah, Halfway sure. through the box, we have really good gold going down there, right on top too. Yeah, so. Yeah. Oh yeah. Cool I think that test it. mat represents about one tenth. That's what you guys are showing me. Yeah. 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 So I mean, that might be a shoe penny weight or something like that, two or three. Yeah. Like that. So it'd be an ounce, ounce and a half just on that dime. You know, together we probably got maybe two ounces a day, yeah. four hours. That's not bad. Yeah. So oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, the first spot, you know, first, yeah, first spot. Year, no you know, prospecting. Yeah, just <laughs> the hose down there. That's pretty damn good. Cool. So I'm yeah, excited. Yep. Yeah. Awesome, cool. awesome. Yeah, we're off to a good start, boys. All right. Well, we'll get yeah, some yeah. more gold tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. Let's do it. See ya. So, what do you think? Success? Good first day? Good first day. As always, every time we come out for the first time, we had to work out some bugs. But we did it, and we got in some good dive time tested out that uh, <coughs> nitrox system it worked great the divers are com comfortable with it they've got new dive computers they worked good nice. uh, a nope. few wrinkles getting the hose aboard we got a 60 foot hose now versus a 40 footer we put another 20 feet of length on it because we're out there in that deep water and it was a pain in the ass getting it aboard but um We'll do better next time we figure a few things out. So yeah, all, to, all together, I'd say today was a, a screaming success. Sweet, gold yeah. in the box. Yep, absolutely, <laughs> we got gold in the box. What could be better than that? Any day we got gold in the box is a good day. Awesome, we'll, we'll get some more gold tomorrow. Absolutely. <laughs> all right, thanks. Yeah. See you next time.